G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and in this video we are going to have a look at the Scoped Enums Compiler Directive. Now I'm going to start this time by creating a console application, because everything we want to do is code, and declare a type. In fact it's an enumerator type, and so it'll be the T. Um, Imperial distance. Now, if I declare another um, new meta type, like this, we get an error because we can't have. Um, sort of two foots, so to speak. Um, now, the traditional way of getting around this problem is to add a little prefix, such as id inch, uh, that probably be capitals, um, id foot, and so on. And that gets around that that issue, and we, you know this would be bp foot for body part foot. Um, but introduced, I think, in Delphi 2010, we can say Give a little compiler directive. Scope enums on. And although this is saying it's still a problem, I can actually compile that now and get no errors. But what it means. If I declare a variable and I can't just say foot, uh, although it thinks, it thinks I can. I have to go tbodypart.foot. In fact, I get the um, code insight or whatever it is, code completion. So, excellent. <laughs> anyway, um, you can also turn it off if you want, or we could actually have it on for one and off for the other, in which case I'd have to go back and say a foot there. But if I wanted an imperial distance, um, of course, can't say foot. Well, I can try, but I'll get a Compiler error. Okay, not overly exciting, but there's more. So let's um, get rid of that and just come with that for now. And let's add a new. Unit and check imperial distance in it. Okay, and that if I try compiling, I'll get an error saying. that we can't assign a uh, body part to an imperial distance because this foot uh, takes precedence over this one. So we no longer, no longer get the error, but um, it's still not right. But I can say unit 11 dot foot and compile that and that works. Although this is getting a little bit confusing. Um, now, this could actually cause you some grief because um, let's write a little bit of code. Um, now, 
Now, what I'm doing is taking the ordinal value of foot, and first of all, I'll just comment this out. Now, let's run that. Uh, ah, and that. T body part. Okay, and we get one. Now, if I now you might be doing this to save um, the save a foot into a database or in any file or something like that, converting it to a number. Um, and if I then uncomment that and that one, and let's run that again, we now get, of course, get a different answer, which is very bad and would could be could potentially be a incredibly obscure. Um, bug because um, we might have just included, um, for instance, if you know, 13. And I run that. We get 5, but if I change the order. Here we get one again. So, um, the, I suppose the moral of the story: uh, scoped enums are good. It's a slightly more object-oriented way of doing things, I suppose. Um, and that was pretty much all I wanted to cover. Except, of course, I should probably um, mention turn that on there and. Turn that on there, and of course I have to explicitly say uh, what kind of foot that is. If I try compiling that, Control F9, we have to say it's an imperial distance, and we'll get always get one, no matter what all the unit what the units are in. Anyway, okay, that's it for me.